Eleven hours ahead and already celebrating, the people of New Zealand have the advantage of being among the earliest members of the Commonwealth to light their jubilee beacon, alongside royalists in Australia. And even the crew of HMS Daring, east of Suez. Tonight the people of Britain will follow suit with 4,000 being lit across the country, all in accordance with health and safety regulations. There's so much um, red tape, as we know, with health and safety, insurance, all the things we're so fed up with us in this country. But, no, it's, 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 but, you know, I've been doing it for 30 years now, so you get used to it. The ceremonial lighting of the National Beacon will be the highlight, but it's just one event in a party that's been years in the planning. Tonight's event centres on the palace, a pop concert followed by a firework display. Sir Paul McCartney, just one of those performing, alongside fellow Knights of Pop, Sir Elton John and Sir Cliff Richard. Almost a repeat performance of the memorable Golden Jubilee concert of ten years ago. I remember Paul McCartney on stage saying to Her Majesty, oh, it's been so good, do you think we could do this again? And she leaned over and said, I'll have to ask my gardeners. Now, obviously the gardeners said no, because we're out in the street today. So it'll be a... But look at it. I mean, I was just looking at all the, the seating they put around here. It's going to be fantastic. The concert may be fantastic, but after yesterday, everybody due to attend will be wondering what the weather is going to be like. 24 hours ago, you were more likely to get hypothermia than sunburn celebrating the Jubilee. The good news today, the forecast isn't that bad. People arriving for the concert, I think, probably need to have a brolly handy because there will be one or two showers around through the um, earlier part of the day. But by the time the, the concert gets going, I think it should be fine. It's safe to say that for those travelling to the palace today, rain or shine, it will be something to remember. Damon Green, ITV News.